Matthew J. Kirby. I'm the author of The Clockwork Three. It's very surprising that, um, that a dream came true. I've been trying to, to have a book published and, and to write stories for about 10 years now. So this was the culmination of a lot of work and it's just very, very gratifying. The Clockwork Three is a novel that's um, it's about three children in the 19th century whose lives are connected by an enchanted violin a hidden treasure, and an automaton that comes to life. Well, I knew I wanted in an American city. Um, I wanted a place that had a, an old classic 19th century feel about it. But I didn't want to confine myself to an actual location because I knew that I needed to be able to go where the story would take me. And so the city really, and that world, just kind of emerged as I was um, I was in that city with the characters and going where they went. Uh, Giuseppe came to me first. His story was the, the driving influence of the Clockwork Three. Um, and his story came to me one day when I was walking through the library at my university. And I came across the story of a boy named Joseph, who was a real a street musician that had been kidnapped in, from Italy and brought to America, to New York City, uh, to play streets, play music on the streets. Um, and he eventually escaped from his padrone and um, was brave enough to testify in court against him and help to change the laws to protect children like him. And when I heard his story, I knew that there was a, there was a book there. Of the three characters, I think Frederick was the hardest to write. Um, and that's because he, throughout most of the story, he's emotionally distant um, to the other characters in the story. And he was also somewhat emotionally distant to me. And it took a while for me to really get inside his character and really understand him. Well, um, I'm a school psychologist and I work with elementary students. and. Um, it's just a really incredible feeling to know that the kids that I work with are, are going to be able to read this story. And um, I hope that my book is able to inspire some of them to, to pick it up and read.